Hi everybody, welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today's video features a series of breakfast staples that I've really been enjoying this week and have eaten to lose more than 100 pounds on the keto diet. First up, we have our light and fluffy waffles. These are a perfect recipe on their own for breakfast. You can also use them as the base of an ice cream sandwich. If you just add in some Halo Top or Nix or whichever ice cream you prefer. Plus, all these recipe ideas are perfect for meal prep. You can make them in large batches ahead and then parcel them out so you're ready at meal time. Really simple and straightforward. And I'll definitely go ahead and leave a link in the description box to the blog post where you can print all the recipes featured in the video up to 3x on the blog, thelowcarbsweetspot.com. Plus, this waffle recipe is super simple using ingredients you probably have right in your keto pantry at home. We're going to want to go ahead and add all our dry ingredients to a medium to large bowl and give them a good mix combined. Then in a separate medium sized bowl, add coconut oil or ghee, add your vanilla extract, add in liquid stevia, add in your eggs, and give your wet ingredients a good whisk to the mind. Go ahead and plug in your dash waffle makers or your waffle maker that you have at home and let that preheat while you're setting up your batter. Then add in your macadamia milk or other plant-based milk and stir that in to combine completely. You can use non-stick spray or go ahead and brush on some coconut oil. You can pair the waffles with some of the strawberry syrup that we'll make later on in the video or go for maybe a maple flavor keto syrup or just go ahead and top the waffles with grass fed butter or MCT oil because we're adding sweetener in our batter. So adding additional sweetener or syrup is optional. After making this original batch, I went ahead and added some freeze-dried strawberries that I had on hand and then paired that with the strawberry syrup we'll make later in the video. Making these frittatas is a great way to use up ingredients that you have left over at home so that you're not wasting any food. You can get creative. Each well of your cake mold can be a different creation if you'd like. You can just have fun with it and use up what you have on hand. We're essentially just going to be layering our ingredients and you want to make sure you stuff about three quarter way full because these are going to expand in the oven and you don't want them pouring over. You can preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit while you set up your poppers.
Bake your frittata fiesta poppers for between 15 and 18 minutes until they're golden brown on top and a toothpick inserted in the center comes out clean. I remember missing oatmeal when I first started the keto diet and this overnight chia pudding recipe is an excellent alternative. It's packed with fiber and protein. You can pair it with some additional toasted coconut, some slivered almonds, make whatever variety you like, top with some berries, it's completely up to you. The recipe is super simple to make right before going to bed and then you're all set for breakfast. All you want to do is add your macadamia milk, coconut cream, and chia seeds to a container. Give that a good stir. Then you're going to seal it up. Set it aside in the refrigerator overnight or for at least four hours to set up. You could also make this recipe in a hurry by just simmering it in a pot over a medium to low heat for about 10 minutes. I'm excited to share this zucchini hash recipe with you guys because it's absolutely amazing and one that I think that you'll make week after week as a staple to pair with poached egg, omelets, maybe even a seared salmon or steak. A great stand-in for the potato variety with fewer carbs and no unwanted sugars. Plus, the recipe is really easy to throw together and bake on a pan while you're making other recipes or prepping for the week. Preheat your oven at 400 degrees. Bake the hash for 35 to 40 minutes. Give the hash a stir periodically just to make sure everything stays coated with the oil and doesn't dry out while it's cooking. You want to bake the zucchini until it's yielded and lightly browned and slightly soft. The hash is generally savory, but as the onions caramelize, they'll add a, a slightly sweet taste. A lot of times I'll just sear up some sausage like this Applegate Farms chicken and maple. This is one of my favorites. And then pair that with a poached egg and the zucchini hash. It's a perfect breakfast, really lunch or dinner. This sweet and tart strawberry keto syrup is one of my favorites. You can of course drizzle it over some pancakes or waffles, but you can also use this as a simple syrup and add it to beverages, or you can drizzle it over some ice cream. Also maybe using your waffles, you can just get creative with it. And you can use this recipe as a template and just swap in other low glycemic berries, blueberries, raspberries, blackberries, whatever you have on hand, and just using the same amount of water, lemon juice, and sweetener, or to taste, you can create a similar syrup using whatever you have on hand. Plus, you can make this syrup using fresh, frozen, or even freeze-dried berries. I'll add additional details and notes about how to reconstitute the berries if you're using freeze-dried and the steps to take for any of those methods, but you can do it based on whatever you have, whether you have fresh, frozen, or freeze-dried berries. I'll add a link in the description below to the blog post with all the details on how to make the syrup as well as all the other recipes featured in this breakfast compilation. I wanted to bring you guys a video full of useful recipes that you can use week in and week out. Make some of these your staples, integrate it into your meal prep and your weekly meal plan for weight loss. All these recipes are super simple and beginner friendly. They're delicious and they definitely are going to be keeping your macros in mind. Also, be sure to check the description box below for a link to the blog post where you can print all the recipes featured in the video and scale them up to 3x on the blog thelowcarbsweetspot.com